Originally discovered in 2001, Leonidasaurus wasn't viewed as anything very special and was forgotten until today, where a new paper was released, one that will reveal one of the biggest discoveries of paleontology. But why was this little dinosaur so special? Being incredibly small at 34 centimeters, Leonidasaurus is part of a family of dinosaurs called Ankylosaurus which were heavily built animals who had defensive bony armor and spikes, and included famous members such as Edmonia, Gastonia, Europhocephalus, and most famously, Ankylosaurus. When originally discovered, scientists noticed it lacked the large osteoderms, which were bony plates that covered the bodies of its cousins, and had two large plates of bone that covered its belly, something rare in Ankylosaurus. With it also lacking fusion in some of the areas of its vertebra, and counting its very small size. Scientists believed at the time this specimen was a juvenile and that was that. Until today, on August 29, 2016, a new specimen was described which changed the identity of what Leonidasaurus was. This was found near the original at the early Cretaceous Xi'an formation in northern China and it too shared traits from its predecessor. Small size, lack of osteoderms, two bony plates under its belly, and lack of fusion between vertebrae. But this one had one incredible difference. Preserved in the rib cage of Leonidasaurus were incomplete portions of fish skeletons, which implies heavily that Leonidasaurus was a carnivore. Not only this, but the tooth design for Leonidasaurus was something different and looked to be more adaptable for eating meat than plants. This is incredible news as the only known carnivorous group of dinosaurs were the theropods, which were biped and included the likes of Allosaurus, Dromaeosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus. But to understand the significance of this news, we will have to dive deeper into the dinosaur family tree. Dinosaurs were grouped in two groups, Sauriscians and Ornithischians. They are grouped by the shapes of their hips. Sauriscians are what scientists call the blizzard hip dinosaurs, and they include the sauropods, the long neck herbivores, and the previously mentioned theropods, which also include birds. Ironic that birds are on the opposite side of the second group, Dorniscians, which scientists call the bird hip dinosaurs. Orniscians are the more diverse group of dinosaurs, which include the mentioned Ankylosaurs, as well as the Ceratopsians, Stegosaurs, Pachycephalosaurs, and Ornithopods. Besides sharing the same hip design, they also for a time shared one other characteristic in which they all were herbivores. A member of the theropods like Therizinosaurs, who made the transition from carnivore to herbivore, the opposite change had yet to happen in other groups of dinosaurs. But with this new information, we can now open up the idea that theropods were not the only carnivorous dinosaurs. Granted, Leonugosaurus was a piscivore, which meant it ate mostly, if not only, fish. But we can also hypothesize that other Ornithischians could have been carnivores. While we can say for certain that Triceratops would have not hunted and killed other dinosaurs, we can say that relatives in the Ceratopsian family and other Norskians who have not been discovered could have been omnivorous or just carnivorous diets. This discovery is why paleontology is such an interesting field of study. It is unusual discoveries like this that always keep paleontologists on their feet, not knowing what they'll discover next. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and want to see more paleontology related content, please subscribe and like the video and until then, see you all next time.